thank you for joining today. And after the conference call we just had, to stay on the line for an interview, which we can use to make it even better known to members that IFPRI, your organization, is organizing a conference on building resilience for food and nutrition security in Addis Ababa in May. My first question to you, Rajul. This IFPRI conference is the latest in a series of conferences on the 2020 Vision Initiative. Please explain this initiative to our listeners. Monica, thank you, and thank you for the opportunity to share the 2020 conference with the members of the Global Donor Platform. The IFPRI in 1994 initiated the 2020 Vision Initiative, and the objective of the initiative is to bring together different perspectives, different views, different uh, actors together to come up with a shared consensus on how to address food and nutrition insecurity and reduce poverty. IFPRI organizes every three to four years international policy consultations on emerging issues that have the potential to significantly influence poverty, hunger, and malnutrition. They want to bring together the different actors and the different perspectives to help set the agenda and to help articulate what needs to be done to address these emerging issues. Bring the different players together so that we have research, action, policy, gaps and agendas and actions articulated. These consultations have as the centerpiece an international conference. Preceding the international conference is different modalities by which we bring knowledge together and actors together and begin communication activities. Following the conference, we invest in follow-on activities where we want to interact with key stakeholders and key networks so that they run in their forums and their agendas with the key issues. So if we want to contribute with these conferences to the global agenda setting processes on emerging issues, influencing poverty, hunger, and malnutrition. Thank you. Thanks, Rajul. This was quite uh, clear. Let's get back to this uh, after the conference uh, in a little bit. My second question to you is, why is your special focus on resilience uh, this year, and what does the agenda of the conference in Addis Ababa look like? So the last two to three years, we've been observing several different key trends. We've been observing that a number of donors and civil society organizations are talking more about resilience, but the, 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 the dialogue is a bit confused, and the dialogue is a bit patchy. And I think part of that is because there's no common understanding of what resilience is. We are seeing that there is great concern over different types of shocks, concerns about whether there are more shocks or whether the shocks are becoming more intense. And there are concerns arising over shocks that are related to market issues, shocks that are related to conflicts, to climate change, to natural disasters, to weather shocks, to health shocks, to uh, public uh, uh, food uh, safety issues and the like. Different shocks are coming together. Different people are talking about different shocks. But there is no platform that is bringing people together from these different silos of shocks and from the different approaches. And people are operating in their silos. We feel that with this conference, we can create a platform. They're bringing the different actors together, the different the communities together and different uh, sort of uh, um, players together to identify what are some of the key ways in which we can work together and therefore have more impact and more sort of beneficial uh, modalities by which at the end of the day we can enhance resilience for poor people and vulnerable communities and improve their food and nutrition security. So it's not just resilience, resilience, it's resilience for food and nutrition security, and we help contribute to that agenda setting and networking that leads to better programming and um, more uh, priority setting for investments and policies. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Raju. So this is a really multi-stakeholder forum which you are providing. Can I ask you who do you invite and what is the role of the donors in the conference? Mm -hmm. So we want to invite as many of the key players across the key sectors. 
This is not a typical academic or research conference. We invite policymakers at national, regional, international levels. We invite civil society and NGOs, again, at local, national, international levels, private sector, think tanks, researchers, farmers, women's groups, young people's groups, you name it. But we want that whole diversity as long as they are working in some form or the other on resilience issues and as long as they are able to contribute to this agenda setting. Uh, the role of the donors is, comes in in several ways. As key players in the agenda setting, so that they are contributing to the discourse, they are sharing their experiences, their investments, their struggles with priority setting, some of the learnings that they are uh, having, with how they are investing, some of the initiatives that they are designing and developing, the tools they're bringing to the table. So it's very active participants in the discourse. We are also looking for them to participate uh, in terms of following on from the conference. The conference is a means to an end. So it is very important that donors participate in the discourse and then run with the discourse and feed back some of the key outcomes of the conference in their priority setting in their rethinking of the investments uh, and their rethinking of the programming, their rethinking of the networks they are fostering. So we do want our donors to actively participate and not just as quote-unquote funders, mm -hmm. players because they are setting the agenda and contributing to the network and enabling environment in which others operate. Point taken, Roger. Thanks. So that was my last question, actually, on the cooperation of the IFPRI uh, conference and IFPRI as a long-time partner of the Global Donor Platform for Rural Development. But let me extend that to cooperation in the run-up to the conference and in the follow-up to the conference. Please uh, answer this last question. Thank you. Thank you. We value our engagement with the Global Donor Platform. And uh, we would like to see that uh, cooperation, collaboration with the platform, with the members of the platform. And as I mentioned uh, right uh, uh, early on, we would like active engagement in the issues of the resilience at the conference. And we would like to have active engagement following the conference, uh, in maybe in terms of how we can have some of the outputs of the conference feed into the various uh, members and the platform. So we would like to find in which we engage with and uh, interact with the platform. Everything from being at the conference in terms of communication activities before the conference, after the conference in terms of networking. Advise us, please, on who are the key players in your networks that should be at the conference so that we are having as inclusive a dialogue as we can have and as impactful a conference following the conference. We value the engagement. I appreciate this opportunity to share the conference with you and your members. In turn, we ask you, please don't be shy. Please come and engage and tell us how you want us to partner with you. But if you're not there, it is very difficult for us to, to have this impact that we want. Please don't be shy. Come and join us. Those were very nice closing words. Thanks, Roger. Thank you for this interview and all the best for the conference. Thank Bye. you, Monica. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care.